stereotypes tend to be easy to create, but hard to break. One woman from the Middle East is trying to shed more light on her culture here in Fargo. Valley News Team's Macy Anger explored how a community event at the library helps her make that a reality. Today I will present uh, about the Iraqi culture. Iraq, a country some tend to associate with the suffering of our local soldiers and words like war. As a human, uh, by nature, we are st stereotyped about everything. That's why we need to understand what these people coming from. Read a little history. Iraq was a very, very progressive country. How the women were in that time. From history to music. To kind of catchy music. And food. We have Luqmat al-Qadi. Iman Yassin and, uh, hopes to share Imam the culture Musa. of the Iraqi people. The more information you get, the more you know the people. Are you talking about two love each other and they are the young. Yassin's husband says it's all about keeping an open mind. At one point, my ancestors came to America 150 years ago or whatever. So they probably went through a lot of those things, you know, that, you know, families coming over to Fargo Moorhead now are experiencing. That's exactly the mindset Fargo librarian Diane Briggs hopes comes out of these presentations, all of which focus on cultures of new Americans living in the valley. We have good, good friends from uh, Iraq. Uh, and in fact, we met them when they came to this country. From what I've learned, there's a real richness and beauty in the Iraqi culture. Though Yassine and her two sons came to America to start a new life, Any questions? she says she'll carry her culture with her. If you want the truth, you have to look for it. And this is one way she wants to help others walk in her shoes, even if it's just for an hour. In Fargo, Thank you Macy you. Inger, Valley News Live. Yasin and her two sons came to America as refugees in 2008. She became an American two years ago and is now a student social worker at MSUM.